Yeah, people who saw the aftermath of this crash on the 15 freeway say they can't believe that everyone made it out of this alive. And tonight they were explaining the terrifying moments they realized a little girl had been ejected from one of those cars. Tire tracks in the dirt show the path this Toyota Corolla took as it sailed off the 15 freeway, barreled down a 50 foot embankment, and landed in the middle of this Wildemar backyard. The front of the car was wrapped in the fence and they had to unwrap it and and Eloise Russell on Garova says the man behind the wheel just got out and dusted himself off and he said I'm fine and then he crawled up the hill and that was just the first car this mangled SUV sailed off the freeway too and rolled two or three times before landing right side up the CHP says a baby in the back stayed in a car seat and then they ran over here oh look here's another kid but tragically a toddler in the back was thrown out of the window the CHP says she landed on this embankment where several good Samaritans stayed with her and I mean you know it's heavy duty. Johnny Whittle immediately called 911 to get the children and their mother medical help. You just got to pray, you know, and that's all you can do to get through things like that. Witnesses told CHP the Corolla veered toward the center divider, traveling 70 miles per hour before swerving right across all lanes and colliding with the SUV. All four were hospitalized. I just picked up the toys there. Eloise wants to know what caused the crash that sent those little ones down toward her friend's home. Thankful that they survived. The CHP is still investigating the cause of this crash, and they also say they're looking into whether or not that toddler was properly secured in a safety seat in the back of that car. Reporting live tonight, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.